hello guys this is Lakshman welcome back to our YouTube channel in this video I am going to talk about one of the common entry question for any automation test engineer that is how to explain project in interview so in this video I am going to explain for experienced guys who are having about uh, two years or one year or three years of experience about three years so just follow these steps to explain the project in interview for automation test engineer so according to this video I am going to explain the concept the project is respective of a selenium tester okay so first you have to explain about your project introduction so like uh, what type of domain uh, the project is related to and uh, what is the title of the project and what are the main object of this project you have to explain in brief not in depth okay so uh, after that one you have to explain about uh, how many modules are there in your project the second step is talk about modules modules descriptions okay so suppose there are five modules are there in which model you have involved you have to tell at that time okay and then what type of tools and technologies and platforms are used in your project okay suppose uh, for selenium tester selenium with java so those candidates will tell about tools like we are using java programming language and uh, uh, testing framework and the DDD framework okay you have to tell uh, each and everything very clearly okay so what are the tools and technologies and platforms that are used in your project you have to explain in the third step the fourth one is after you mentioned your tools technologies and platforms you have to explain about your role in the project so as a selenium tester i'm explaining in this video okay so we have to follow like this in our project we are using data driven framework by using phase object model design pattern with phase factory we have maintained a phase class for every phase in our application and a phase test class to maintain test for the phases for example product listing page, add to cart page, payment page, invoice generation page. Make sure you know we maintain different page and different page test classes and all different annotations in page factory. We have maintained separate package for page and page test. Maintaining different packages is very uh, good practice okay we also have a base page class for common functions used by all pages make sure you know why we have base page class in page object we also have library package to maintain common functions related to weights directory creations etc and we are using java because it is known to most people when we started automation even though selenium supports multiple languages we are using java language just because most of the automation developers have knowledge on selenium with java next we are using standardized mavin project for build execution and dependency management make sure you know about a build tool like uh, ant or maven whatever you know you, sh you should make sure that one you have to be ready to tell about maven for handling data driven cases we are passing data using java properties file or excel file or csv file okay make sure you know about libraries like uh, csv apache poi or java properties file so one of them among among them okay for ordering testers we are using test in the framework 
preparing test ng questions and make sure how to run test ng xml using maven we are using log4j library to maintain logging of our project so we are using all kinds of logging statements like info debug error etc so we have maintained a separate class for it the next step we are using extend report for reporting purpose it is a third party report and it is easily available at maven central repo we are using maven postman plugin or java api to send generated extend report as an attachment to client distribution list make sure you know about this plugin of maven or java api we check in our code into client repository using a version controlling tool like git bash on windows system so you must note this point you have to talk about all major components in our project like logging emailing page objects page factory annotations test ng exception handling build tools version controlling tools data driven whatever you are using okay this makes uh, the interviewer very impressive okay so after that the number of people involved in the project you have to tell uh, we involved five members or six members to complete this project. Okay, so then you have to tell about what are the challenges you faced in your project during your project. What type of challenges you faced, and make sure uh, how to avoid those challenges in your project. So you have to prepare at least five to ten challenges uh, during the entry. Okay. So here I am giving some interview tips. Uh, for experience guys so just focus on the skills and the features that you are used in your current project to complete it successfully okay then uh, the main objective and goals of the project you must be prepared and uh, set positive mindset during project okay so the entry tips and uh, uh, the, the mistakes you should avoid during answer so don't drag the answer just keep it briefly okay you just uh, don't go in depth uh, depth information about the project just uh, give brief uh, concepts for each and every topic and uh, don't criticize uh, your previous employees or colleagues as well okay this makes you a uh, new to feeling okay so these are the uh, process to explain uh, the project in interview so i hope this is very helpful for all who are trying to uh, get in job for experience guys okay so keep follow my youtube channel and i will provide every day uh, one new topic so thank you for watching